got some practice here down the road about six. And uh, four hour job. Yeah, it takes about three and a half. The new guy shows up. <laughs> oh, I got something for you. They've been hating on my shoes all morning. So we got new company shoes for all the guys. We'll see what y'all think. You know, your, your screen's not messed up. <laughs> We're not responsible for seizures. <laughs> Where'd you get those? They were a gift. Yeah, somebody from somebody that didn't like you. <laughs> Maybe they like me too much. <laughs> Gonna have lots to do today. Set up the new range, sort of. New range tables. We got the new carbon fiber bog tripod. That's right. But the head doesn't move so well. Like it floats well, but it'd be hard to adjust. Maybe there's a piece we can buy to make that part happen. Mm -hmm. If anyone knows something, let us know. All right, so we uh, we had our lunch and got distracted talking about bullets and guns and stuff. So we are finally down here, set up, ready to action shoot bullets with guns. And we got down here, and all the new stands are here. So now we're kind of clogged up. We just got guns laid out everywhere to. <laughs> Make room while we zero and stuff. What you got going there? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so this is uh, this is a little truck gun. This is a, a Strybog. Uh, it's an SB9A3S. So the S means it's a little short barrel. Um, this is actually a pistol. It's got the brace. Um, and I have it set up with uh, conversion to run the uh, CZ Scorpion mags and uh, quick detach suppressor. So it's a, a nice, fun little uh, nine millimeter just to uh, you know work on your skills and just play and just have fun with. And when you shoot 147 grain ammo, it's subsonic, so it's really, really quiet. Let's see what you got. That's a hundred yards, nice and quiet. <laughs> very, very quiet. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I want one. That's a lot of fun. Yeah. Let me shoot one more. There's no more ammo. I know. Oh, ah. Mike's got the FOMO going on. Gotta have one. Oh, oh, there you go. That's 168 yards. That's a 168 yard hog <laughs> with, a, with a suppressed nine millimeter. <laughs> I want to stop my leg. <laughs> Quit while you're ahead. That was pretty cool. So he just, I don't know if y'all can see with this GoPro, but pig out there at 168 yards and it was a nine millimeter. Subsonic. With some subs. We've got some shotguns out here on the range today. Turkey season's coming up. And we thought we'd just kind of check out some general patterns that they shoot, starting with the stupidest, most ridiculous shotgun to, to a normal one and, and just see you know, why shotguns are built the way they are in certain aspects. So here we got our, our turkey head. If our turkey weighed 75 pounds, his head would be that big. <laughs> <laughs> If a turkey had a head that big, he'd stand four feet tall. He'd be okay for days. Oh, just for fun. Oh, 
I, I think what the problem is, is... Oh yeah, this one, this is a logical, maybe not for a turkey, right? An over under? Yeah, not so much. But it would work. I like it. Good skeet gun. But I want to see what it patterns like. Pull left? No, I, want, I wanted to see the pattern. Oh. I didn't want it in your head. Maybe I'll try again. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> Just in case you can <laughs> On the table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. None of that was educational. It was just for us having fun. Well, we're going to get some guns zeroed and with some optics, nighttime stuff, so we can coyote hunt tonight. And hopefully, we'll be able to film some of that and get some good footage so we can start posting uh, some of our varmint hunts a little bit more because, man, they're a lot of fun. All right. Bye. So what's this used for? So this is a match saver. So what it's designed for is in competition, you always want to shoot so your shotgun runs dry on your last shot because every round you load takes time and if you end up with a bunch of rounds you're not shooting then you wasted time so uh, this is an emergency quick reload so if you fire your last round and you need one more round this is a quick little setup to get it so when the gun locks open you basically sweep your hand back catch the shell put it in the ejection port hit your bolt release and re-engage it's a fast way to get one emergency reload at the end if you need it Nice. Has application for hunting too. Good stuff. <laughs> so we have 14 students coming in, plus uh, Greg went ahead and stayed at the lodge. So me and the boys have been evicted to the barn, literally. Like horse corrals out there. But like I say, an actual barn. We go upstairs. Here we are in the barn. It was nice until I showed up and dumped all my crap everywhere. But it's got a bedroom here with the door closed. And it looks like this when it's open. And then it's got two bathrooms that look like this, which isn't, which isn't bad. Boom. Going on. Nice glass shower. Other bathrooms in there. Down the hallway. This is what the rooms look like when you arrive. So the other two rooms in the back have three beds in it. But then there's two single rooms and two bathrooms in the living room. Not long after being home, you're you're itching to get back to, to dirt roads and wood furniture, you know, plain, good, regular food, I'll say, um, shooting guns, hanging out with people and talking, it's a, it's a good place, and, when, and all the instructors here know it, and that's why we do what we do, and then when the students figure it out, they really figure out ways to come back just to get that, that fix hanging out with like-minded folk and great beautiful historic country and nice facilities good company it's, it's really a treat got my new shirt on thanks mr brent hand just about every one of the classes a repeat or return and some of them being some guys from like the very first time 
I taught uh, Mr. Gary English will be here. Uh, we got the same crew in the kitchen cooking again. They work harder than everybody. And now, so here they are. Starting process. <laughs> and now, introduction of Mr. Brent Hain. Huge tool to help you find your way out of a bad situation. Right, so that's one of the things you know that I'd like to highlight in this. That yeah, this is good, and we joke about songs of praise and acts as a little. You know, Arrival right day. This is the yeah, only time we sit and do PowerPoint or whatnot. It so takes about two or three hours to get people on the same page, so do stuff like that. He's in here mounting what I'll say is Zeiss's flagship scope, right? Yeah, it's their. This is their newest. Um, it's their second entry into the first vocal plane. This is the S3, which is the uh, little brother to the S5. We don't really have much of an application for the S5. It's really for the range and uh, precision shooters. But this is a great application for hunting. Small, compact, first vocal plane. It's fast. I ran it all last year, and I'm a second vocal plane guy. I still haven't converted, or haven't admitted that I've converted. But I like this one. Who, who's got it that? Uh, this is uh, Chris Hancock, so longtime client. Uh, been in hunting camp with him a bunch. This is, I think, his third long range school, and he sends a lot of a lot of business our way through his company uh, that he works for. So uh, he's a big Seiko fan, and I transferred. Uh, he had this optic on that rifle, so I just took it off, put it on here for him. Chris is in. Uh, no, these are both Seikos. Ah. Yeah, that's nice right. They're, they're, they're Seikos, yeah, they're not known for being crappy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so cheap. They, <laughs> got a great, great action on them. Uh, I mean, you know, they're no Benelli Lupo, but they're uh, they're still good. So I have no idea what this optic is. Helix. You see? Ne never heard of it. Got a small tube hole. Mm -hmm. Helix. I don't know. Have to look it up. Never, never heard of it. But anyway, so yeah, I, I just told him that he wanted to buy that uh, S3. So I just told him um, to bring his iPhone. I take care of it. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So if you think I'm kind of worried on the classes sometimes, Greg's probably seen that class about four thousand times. So. <laughs> what you say? Bro? Since you've probably seen that PowerPoint about four thousand times. Oh yeah, I've seen every one of them. So. I hang out this too. He's out here doing some customer service. What we all about, man. So most people shoot our guns through the course. Uh, like I said, these guys have been here three times, four times. Uh, they know what we need and what we want, and they bring very, I'd say, outdoor solutions friendly guns. This one's good, huh, man? I never heard of it. He said you'd laugh about it. Morning day one, we have our range brief here in about five minutes. And then we are going to go over some gun basics and some patrol and zero and start shooting. I'll just sit on your back. Especially on uh, the 100 yards we're going through uh, different techniques uh, to help you get good tight groups. Uh, we'll stop periodically. Eric will give you some more pointers as we cruise along through it. And then we'll just start walking out in uh, 100 yard increments. Uh, start with, uh, once we start actually uh, sending rounds down range, we'll do five round groups and then bolt open, muzzle pointed up, uh, your firearm back to the uh, back to the rack, and then your partner will swap out. So we'll do, I know some of y'all have already been here done that, done that, but you'll swap out being on the spotting scope and being on the gun uh, with, uh, with five round groups. So day one at the range, we have gone all the way out to 500 and it's almost lunchtime, sure. and we are now. It. Just taking some time to shoot some of the 3D that animal That deer I estimated roughly 375. I gotta get some ammo. Oh. Here's my group. We got Chris, Landon, Joe and Chris. Oh yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, 
Yeah, nope for five. What's that? What'd you just do? Three in a row at a thousand. There you go. Had a good spotter <laughs> with good calls. Good, good, good. Happy, happy, happy. T2 spotter ready. Computer ready. Send it. Impact. Where was it? Splattered. Just, just a little bit low. So three quarters of a minute low. What'd you just do, man? Shot a thousand yards, baby. <laughs> On our way down to check 1,000. Killed a few pigs on this spot. Lots of turkey out there. I missed my bobcat yesterday. Oh, Heartbreaking man. man. I took Greg's rifle and he's like, it's zero. Not just once, these targets are beat the hell up. There's like three or four or five right there. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So this is what's called a 338 Lapua. What are these, like six bucks a bullet? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why I'm trying to just get it on paper. Every trigger pull, six bucks, six bucks, six bucks. I didn't get it. It's just a little high. Here it goes. Probably gonna knock that was <laughs> no. So this is our day two. The purpose of it is to uh, create very likely real world hunting scenarios and positions. It was not the first time on a hunt. Support here in the middle, support here on the back. It allows them to get really, really stable or be able to sit there for a long time. And that's on me. You're ready. Send it. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Shot, Shot, baby. You earned it. <laughs> you got it. You got it. Cha-ching! Appreciate that. Well, yeah, now you know your seated position. Let's say you go hunting. Mm -hmm. and you, you have a much better chance of hitting something now that you know what does and doesn't work for you in, the, in that position. See you the man. Look. You got that right. Good job, baby. <laughs> he only knows us. <laughs> so these smoke grenades are for paintball people, right? Yeah. So they're, they're cool burning, apparently. I bet it burned the shit out of you to touch it. And uh, I guess they're legal to fly with. Are they really? Yeah, but we should use them to demonstrate wind and then also, you know, a safety marker. Right. Then we got a switch. It's a fun day, we give each other hell. You're not gonna hit them all out here, and that's part of it. You'll know what you're good at and what you aren't so good at. Shooter one, top right corner, shooter left, half a minute right. So push left, that was a shot. Pushing up the full two minutes. Ready. Send it. Uh, 
both impacts. Keegan, you are as dead center as dead center can get on that target. Nice. That's exactly dead center. We're good shooting, guys. Full two minutes. That you couldn't have been better on that, Keegan. That was good spotting. That was good communication and uh, a good correction and fixed it. Getting out of there is harder than you. Yeah, can. it's little. Like, gather up all your crap and get the gun. <laughs> Like sigh on no, coconut. No. That's a fight. No. You sound like hammer. He's like, 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 I would want to. He's like, no. Nah. Yeah, T6, 600. Shoot ready. It's their graduation day. Hello. What's up? Hey, had a great time. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yeehaw. Thanks to all the guys at Outdoor Solutions for a great week. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. All right, this is class, what, 123? When I say 123, I mean, it's the first class of 2023. We had a whole lot of repeat customers. Probably half the class, if not more. Yeah. Um, it's really a good time. I hope you like it. I hope you can see what, what we have going on here. Reach out if you're interested.